Thanks for joining us. I'm Gabe with Backwoods Pursuit. Today we're going to look at four binocular tripod adapter options here and these four uh, are some of the best that I found out on the market. They're nice and compact. They don't leave anything protruding from your binoculars so you can use your binocular harness if you choose to do so. They're all nice uh, solid options as far as keeping your binoculars real solid when you're doing some glassing on your tripod. We're going to go over the weight and the features, uh, the tripod adaptability as far as how they connect to your tripod and some features like that help you decide which one's best for you. So come along as we do that. We really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button for us and follow us on our Facebook and Instagram accounts. It means a lot there. Uh, check out our website, backwardspursuit.com, for a lot of other gear reviews. We've got a lot of content over there on uh, things like some of these binocular tripod adapters and a lot of other the backcountry gear that we use. Let's get started. So first up, let's look at the Field Optics Research Rapid Release Adapter here. This one comes in at 1.7 ounces, and all these weights are with the stud installed right here. So that's total weight right. as I have them right here. At 1.7 ounces, it comes with an Arca Swiss base, which is really nice uh, when you're using an Arca Swiss tripod head. Uh, so this is the Sure VA5 and the Slick 624. Uh, I'll put links to all this down in the description for you so you can check any of this out for yourself. Uh, but this one is Arca Swiss, so the nice thing about having that there is you can just slide that right on there with, without any kind of adapter plate needed, quick release adapter plate. So that, that gives you a true actual weight of 1.7 ounces. This is the lightest of the bunch here uh, that we tested here, and that does a good job that way. Um, the next one, Bushnell uh, Rapid Release Adapter, it does not feature Arca Swiss, so you do have to have a, a quick release plate uh, screwed into the bottom of that to fit on your tripod. Obviously, it would depend on what tripod you have. Uh, you want to make sure the plate is going to fit for that. Uh, 2.1 ounces for this. It is nice and solid as well. Um, but that is the Bushnell Quick Release uh, at 2.1 ounces. Uh, next one here is the Swarovski uh, SLC. This is the TAS adapter, so it's got the Arca Swiss as well. This is a newer model. The older ones didn't used to have the Arca Swiss, but they do now. Uh, obviously, really nice as well. This is 3.2 ounces for the uh, for the uh, Swarovski here, and again. Arca Swiss, so you slide it right on there, and it, it, you don't need any adapter plates for that. And next up here is the Outdoorsman's adapter, quick release adapter, and this one comes in at 3.1 ounces uh, total weight, and that is with a, an Arca Swiss adapter on the bottom. Uh, Outdoorsman's, as you probably know, does fit directly onto the Outdoorsman's tripod heads. Uh, I don't have one of those, so I need the Arca Swiss adapter, but if you do have an Outdoorsman's head, they fit directly onto that, and it comes in at 1.96 ounces for just uh, the, the the adapter itself and this is the tall one uh, I'm not sure what the weight is on the short one but to be obviously a little bit less and again that's with the stud in there so they're all nice and lightweight again lightest 1.7 ounces 2.1 ounces for the Bushnell 3.2 for the Swarovski and uh, either 1.96 or 2.1 for the outdoorsman's depending on what tripod you're using and if you need that adapter plate or not all right, so as you can see, as far as bulk goes, the Field Optics and the Bushnell are the least bulky here. They're the smallest, and then the Swarovski and the Outdoorsman's are a little bit bigger there. And none of them are big. They all fit in the side pouch of your, of your pack or whatnot. It's real easy that way, but, uh, but these two are the least bulky as far as size-wise. Now, as far as how all these work, as far as the quick release uh, detach functions, uh, the field optics here, you go ahead and press this metal piece right here, and that slides off the top. Uh, it's, real, it's real nice and easy. It's probably, of all of these, I would say the most cumbersome in that it's, it's a little bit difficult, especially if it's cold out, to get that depressed just right uh, to, to, de to detach that. But it's really not bad. You get the hang of it, um, and it's, it's, it's really pretty quick and easy to do that. Uh, the Swarovski, to me, is probably the easiest. It's just a big lever right here, and then your this would be attached to your binoculars, of course, and it slides right in there. Flip the lever, it's just one step and you're done. Uh, the Outdoorsman's is uh, a, a partially, a, it's a kind of a two-step process, but it's uh, one step, go ahead and push this button, and that slides in or out like that. And then that is still pretty solid when you do that, so there's just a little bit of play. 
So you could glass that way, it's not going to go anywhere. But then if you really want to lock it down, you just twist this knob a couple times and that locks that down in place. And then to release it, and untwist it a couple times, push the button, and then you're good to go. So nice and easy that way as well. Uh, and then on the Bushnell, it's a little bit of a unique setup here. It's similar to the Outdoorsman's in that you've got this uh, knob twist on the top. And then when you un un uh, unscrew that, this piece uh, 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 cants up like that and then you can pull the, the stud out. Uh, so when it's not tilted up, you can have the knob loose, but it's still not going to come out because you have these little retention clips here in the, in, attached to the base. So when that's down, that's loose, but you can't pull it out. So you do need to tighten that down to, to have your solid setup for when you're glassing. So nice, easy setup. The other thing you can do with this is that even when that's screwed down, that does open up. So you can cant your binoculars uh, up or down just a little bit with that ability. There's a little hinge right there. Uh, so kind of a unique setup from Bushnell on that, um, but they're all super solid. So that's how you, you use each of those and as far as their quick release functions. All right, so what I liked and didn't like about each of these. Uh, on the field optics, what I liked is, is weight and size. It's super compact, uh, real easy to stuff in your in the side pouch of your, of your pack or whatnot, takes up no space, and just really slender and small. Uh, what I didn't like so much uh, was the, the, the quick release uh, action here. It's a little bit, like I said, a little bit cumbersome. Uh, it's not bad and you get used to it, but but it does uh, take a little bit of getting used to and I would say it's more difficult than any of the others to attach and detach just by how uh, how small of a motion or how small of an area there you have to work with. Um, I also really love the Arca Swiss base, of course, that makes so you don't have to have, or at least I don't have to have an adapter plate for my tripod. So that's uh, what I liked and didn't, didn't like about the field optics. Um, the Bushnell here, um, one thing I didn't like was that, of course, it didn't have the, the Arca Swiss adapter on uh, and so that requires the use of a plate. It just adds a little bit of weight, a little bit of bulk, not a big deal, uh, but it is a consideration. Um, the, this did, felt a little bit like it could be a little bit more refined as far as uh, some of the functionality here. It was nice and quick and it's super solid, real stable as far as holding your binoculars in place. Um, does a really good job. Um, so really not too many complaints on that. Uh, it's real fast and easy and does a, a real good job. Just wish I had an Arca Swiss um, as far as the, the base on that. Um, on the Swarovski, um, really it, this was probably, as far as functionality, the one that worked best for me overall in the sense you got the Arca Swiss base. You got to probably, I think, just, just buy a, a little bit over the outdoorsman's as far as ease of, of use. I just for that lever to, to flip the lever and detach that, it's just a little bit easier. Uh, but I mean, not, not again by a lot, but it, uh, it is one of the things I didn't like about this as much is, of course, the it's a little bit more bulky. It takes up more space, obviously, than, than something like that or the Bushnell in your, in your in the side pouch of your pack or whatnot. Um, and it's a little bit on the heavier side. It's the heaviest of all of them, 3.2 ounces, whereas you got 1.7, so really twice as heavy almost. Um, but, you know, it's uh, you know, pros and cons there and, and the trade-offs that you get. Uh, probably uh, these two are the most stable, the, the Outdoorsman's and the Swarovski for me, where they, were the, they held everything as about as solid as you can possibly get binoculars on a tripod. And the Bushnell was right there as well as super solid. And the, the field optics, this Gen 2 does a really good job, a huge improvement over the Gen 1. Um, but they're just a teeny bit, uh, just a hair of, of play if you're being super nitpicky, but super, super solid still, a really good uh, upgrade there from the Gen 1. Um, things I liked and didn't like about the Outdoorsman here. Um, one, of course, the, the, because I don't have an Outdoorsman tripod, I had to get an adapter plate, so it added that extra ounce or, uh, or so to the overall weight. Um, and two-step two process here, having to push the button, again, not a big deal there, but then to really tighten it down, you have to, to screw that down. Uh, again, that's being super nitpicky. This thing is super solid and an awesome adapter, um, but I, I like the Arca Swiss because that's what I have. Obviously, if I had an outdoorsman, that would be perfect, and I wouldn't need a plate where I would need a plate with any of these if I had an outdoorsman's tripod. So some, there's some factors there as far as they're gonna help determine what is gonna work best for you. Uh, lastly, price point on all of these. It's a, it's a big deal and a big consideration as far as what's going to work best for you. Um, the the uh, Field Optics here runs around $44 or $45, $50 in that range depending on where you find it. So it's a good price point, it's super lightweight, the lightest of the bunch, and does a real good job of, you know, you got your Arca Swiss and everything else there. So really well priced there. 
The bush nail is about the same price, $45, $50, $55 in some places where you're, wherever you're going to find it. But again, for what it is and how solid it holds your binoculars, it's really a great buy. Um, the Swarovski is by a huge margin the most expensive of the bunch here. So that's it's a huge factor, anywhere from $165 to $185 depending on where you, where you find it. So it uh, has twice as much or more than most of the other ones here. So you, you pay for it. Um, it. It is super nice, but man, it's expensive too. So um, the Outdoorsums here runs $90. Uh, the, you have the option here. You've got uh, the, the adapter itself does not come with the, the stud, so you have to add the stud. I think the stud is 20 bucks and this is 60, so, uh, I'm sorry, the stud is 20 bucks and this is uh, 70. Uh, so your total price is gonna be about 90 for whatever stud you need and then with the adapter here. Um, and then for me, because I needed the Arca Swiss, I had to pick up a plate, so the plate was another 20 bucks. Uh, so it adds the, the total cost, just over 100, 110 bucks total for that. So again, on the more expensive side, Definitely more expensive than these two, almost twice as much there, or more so depending on, on if you need a plate or not. Um, but this, uh, this did, or I did find this awesome uh, plate that's specifically made for this outdoorsman's. Uh, they mentioned it to me. It's from Gray Ops CNC, and it fits perfectly. It's nice and compact. It's not real big, and just fits right on your your Arca base there. So if you, if you want somebody that needs an Arca, uh, you go ahead and pick that up for your outdoorsman. So that's your price points. Um, it kind of depends on what you're willing to spend or or or, or not. Um, these are some great options for a little bit less money in that $50 range, and those the uh, this, the Swarovski and Outdoors ones are are definitely the best of the bunch. But you are definitely going to pay the extra money for those, so something to consider there. All right. So last thing I wanted to cover on these is the potential areas where I can see where you would have failures or things that would wear out. So on the field optics here. Um, because this is machined and the way that it fits over there right now it's when it's new and I've used it for about a year now if it still fits really tight and there's not any additional play from when I got it when it was new but I could see over time after a lot of use on and off here uh, that that would potentially uh, create a little bit more play uh, time will tell on that but but that could be something I could potentially see as an issue uh, if you were to if that were to, to basically wear on itself and create a little bit more play there on the Bushnell here, one of the things I could see that could go wrong is the fact that, um, not, not that you would lose this uh, this stud here, but if you do, they don't offer the stud separately. So if you lose the stud, you're kind of SOL and have to pick up an entirely new setup. Hopefully Bushnell will eventually offer that so that you can pick up the extra stud if you have another a pair of binoculars you want to use that for. Um, the other thing I could see potentially, uh, and it's hard to say, I don't think it would because you have a, a tightening or a tension screw on this little hinge right here, but I could see possibly that hinge coming loose eventually. Um, but you know, it's, I don't think that would be an issue. You do have, again, an Allen head there. You can tighten that down if it were to, to come loose. But uh, you know, anytime you have a moving part, there's potential for something to, to go wrong there. Other than that, it's super solid. Um, on the Swarovski here, I have never, haven't had an issue. I've used this for several years, not, not this specific model, but the previous one I used for several years. I've heard of these collets on the inside, the things that basically pinch the stud here when that flips up. I've heard that uh, from some people have said that they do loosen up over time. I've not, again, had that issue, uh, but, but again, moving part, something that's going, that potentially could wear out over time. You know, Swarovski takes care of you as well, so um, something to consider there, but you know, that could, something that could wear out over time. With the outdoorsman's here, uh, really there's not too many moving parts. You, just, you have really the, the spring on the inside and then that screws down. Uh, really the only thing I could see here potentially going wrong is you do have a, a metal washer here on the between the knob here and the base. If that metal washer were to wear out or break down, um, it might be something where you'd need to repair it. I don't know if you can't even replace that, I don't know. But if that were to happen, then you wouldn't be able to uh, completely lock this down as, as well as you could when it's new. Uh, even if you tighten that all the way down, you might not be able to really lock that stud in place. So potential concern uh, might not be something to be concerned about at all either. So, uh, but just a couple of things I've observed in using these that potentially could be areas of where that they could wear out. So wanted to mention those as well. So again, I'm going to put a link in the description to all of these as well as the tripod head and the tripod for you to check out. If any of them look like they're going to fit your needs, thanks for joining us here today and we'll see you next time.